Yo, what's up boys, and today I'm gonna to bring you guys a one-off video on Stalker Shadow Chernobyl. I actually made videos on- oh my god, that's fucking anomaly. I made videos on this game a long time ago, and those videos are actually pretty successful. So I just wanted to make another video showing you guys one of the spookiest and coolest parts of this game, which is the laboratory. This is the X. 16 laboratory and I did really want to show you guys the X18 laboratory because that one does have a lot more scary things It's got more mutants in it and shit But I just found a safe file online and I was actually thinking about making a video similar to this about a year ago So here we are making it if you guys of course would like to see some more stalker shadow of Chernobyl missions Like some of the really cool ones in the game then I'd love to do some more It's really fun to play a single player game that you guys enjoy and I know a lot of people like I said earlier on in my channel Did enjoy the game very much just so you guys know uh, you can find a safe file in the description below and also this is using some mods. So I've got like max weight, and if you've never played Stalker before, I mean, it's an RPG game, so you'll see we've got our artifacts right here equipped, which uh, affect our Stalker in different ways. We've got some uh, different pieces of equipment which we can wear. We've got some shit in our backpack which we don't have any ammo for, for, like the RPG. And I'm not using any specific mods or anything like that for this game. I mean, there is some really, really good mods for this game, Shadow of Chernobyl, along with the rest of the games in the series. Uh, especially Call of Pripyat, uh, that's got Misery 2.0, which I made a series on a long time ago, which I did do a decent amount of a game in, but it's just, you know, when the uh, series ends up getting less and less views, I kind of give up. But either way, they should give you a good feel for Stalker, and really, my my favorite thing about survival games, which really hasn't been touched so far, which is, what the fuck is that? I haven't done this in like years, so I don't really know, in fact, I don't know if I've actually ever done X16 as a whole, but, um... Yeah, oh fuck, uh, snork. So these things are snorks right here, which are one of the few mutants we're gonna find down here. And once we kill the guy, we can go ahead and, uh, he doesn't know anything on him, whatever. Well, normally you can find some cool shit from mutants which you can then sell to a trader. I don't know why my weapons are so inaccurate, by the way. It might have something to do with the amount of stuff I'm carrying right now, but yeah, they are super inaccurate. These are the zombies in the game, which are a bit fucking stupid, but that's because they are, um, human zombies who've kind of lost their mind. And don't worry, that's not them shooting without looking up with a weapon, it was that dude down there. But yeah, the thing which I'm really missing in a lot of games is, um... Oh, oh hello. Is underground environments done well, like the real-time shadows and shit in this game, which you can see right here. This game was made in, what, 2006, I think it was? Or 2008? And it was pushed back a decent amount, but even, you know, this, the first game in the Stalker series, Shadow of Chernobyl, uh, it's really fucking awesome for underground PvE. You know, I just wish it was a PvP game which did this, where you've got, um, PvP underground fights. And I am excited for, still, despite it being pushed back a bit, which I haven't really talked about too much, but, um... Escape from Tarkov. That game's looking really fucking cool, and it does have underground dark environments. And I'll make videos on it as soon as it comes out, but I don't know if it really do everything I want it to do uh, to make it kind of, you know, have this underground PvP feel, because I don't know how many people there's going to be in, like, PvP maps and shit. Either way, I, you guys would have seen it a bit earlier, but you can see right here as well, this is actually an anomaly, which we can go ahead and get our bolt, throw that in, and then we realize, yeah, it's, it's an anomaly, which we're going to want to avoid, so we're going to go around this thing. I can't remember that many awesome moments... Well, I can't think of that many, I don't know if I just said that. That many awesome moments in Shadow of Chernobyl, to be honest, as a whole, but it's pretty crazy that even without mods, you can have- What the fuck? You can have uh, this spooky of an experience, like, years and years after this game's been released, you know? It doesn't look bad, it doesn't run bad. Uh, but yeah, we've got some more zombies to deal with right here, so we're gonna shoot that. Oh, fucking snork. I don't know why, but the snorks and the zombies seem to like each other very much. I'm not playing the game on the hardest difficulty ever, but I do have a shit ton of medicates regardless, so it's not like this is going to be too hard, but you can imagine this, uh, if you do have very limited equipment, you can hold F to see all the weapons on the floor as well. Oh shit, a fucking artifact. What's that? Droplets? I don't know what one that does. So it's this right here, formed in an anomaly burner at high temperature, so it must be from one behind me. Um, but yeah, if you are obviously, you know, paying for your equipment and shit, you can get some really nice weapons and stuff. This stuff right here, a lot of it, like I said before, I don't know, I'm for like a grenade launcher, but you can find, like, weapons with uh, attachments on them and stuff, and remove attachments. But since this isn't my save file, I don't have any of that stuff. But it is, I don't know, Stalker's a game which maybe a lot of you guys who like the content on my channel, especially the OG people who came for the survival content, and also, you might notice, like, random limbs everywhere and heads everywhere and shit. I don't know what's going on with that. And I, I think this might actually take a few parts to complete, but I'm just gonna make one part, just to show you guys what this is like. Um, 
But yeah, for all you people who watched my channel since the start, when it was more so focused on survival content, this is definitely a game you should try out. Like I said, this game was made years and years ago, but it's still really fun to this day to go back and play. I played through Shadow Chernobyl kind of recently, like a few years ago, which is kind of recent considering the game came out years and years ago, and I did like buy it near its uh, initial release. I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't know. Since I said, uh, you know, maybe I've never done X-16, or if I have, it was years ago. I don't know how many mutants we're going to find here. Obviously, we've got the snorks around this place. We're past the snorks. Do we have anything else, really, which is going to be spooky here? I'm not sure. I have uh, lowered the uh, audio levels. Oh, fuck. Ow. Ow. I have lowered the audio levels a decent amount, so you guys maybe won't get the full experience of... Uh, the laboratory with all the ambience and stuff. It's just because the game is kind of loud as a whole. And also, let's have a look at a PDA anyway, just because I don't know even what we need to do here. So, I think this is the mission right here for uh, X16. So, let's turn off the Sire mission, which is... <laughs> that's me, guys! I'm going to turn me off. I'm going to kill myself now. So, we need to turn off a module, turn off a module, turn off a module, and unplug it. And Oh, maybe that was completely unrelated. Maybe we just need to find the documents in X16. I don't even know. And then we need to bring it back to this ugly fucker right here. Okay, cool, awesome. Let's go and close that and see if we can find those documents then. Um, holy shit, this room is massive. Oh. Critical emissions. Leave the air Shut down in air. four minutes, apparently. Okay, cool. Do we have energies here? We do actually have energies, but I'm not going to use them just because they look ugly as fuck. We've got some more anomalies here, which we'll go ahead and bring them back and sell them to a barkeep. These are one of the best ways to make money in the original game and also, well, all the games as a whole. I've not actually finished uh, Clear Sky, but I have pretty much complete most of Shadow of Chernobyl and Call of Cryptia. Okay, anyway, headshots are pretty important here. Let's go ahead and get up and we need to go ahead and, I guess, press some button up here. I think I am- oh shit! I am kind of remembering this level a bit more. We need to go find, like, a button up here and press it, so... Like, what's wrong with this weapon? Like, why is it so fucking bad? It just doesn't, like, aim where you're shooting at. You normally can, like, one-shot people in Stalker, but I just can't do that because this weapon just doesn't- it doesn't really aim where you're looking at, to be honest. X18 is a lot more of a spooky mutant kind of area, whereas this thing's filled with um, zombies for whatever reason. I forget what the reason is, but I'm pretty sure there's an in-game reason for them being like this. Um, like, I don't know. Like, I can't think of an, an RP scenario in which this entire laboratory would be infested by zombies with AKs and, and all of such assault uh, rifles, but I'm sure, I'm sure it was a really good one. I'm sure. Okay, so here's control room over here. Let's go ahead and press some buttons. Fucking... Did I press it? I don't want to see? Yeah. Pre turn machine off. Okay. Press F. I am pressing F. Hello? Okay, so apparently I missed a really important part of this, which is the mission I was talking about before, but apparently I need to turn off all of these over here as well. So we need to turn this off. Unplug the mechanism. So I think we need to turn off all three. So I'm going to go like Sonic the Hedgehog. I was uh, conceived by a big blue hedgehog. Um, and we are going to go ahead and take some more of these artifacts and turn all of these off. And oh, shit. And then we need to get to the top really quickly, I think, as well, which is going to be going to be kind of tight with time right here. Really, the original game, although it was really good, though, um, if you haven't played modded Stalker before, I would really recommend it. The only reason I'm not using the mod today is just because the save file obviously I'm using is um, not for... The okay, so I'm guessing I've turned them all off now. Wait, it's went back to four minutes. I don't even know what the fuck happened. But yeah, the save file is designed for original game, so I don't think it would work with mods. But really, mods allow you to not like run around like Sonic the fucking Hedgehog. We had weapons in the game, make the game look better, make it look like 2016 graphics, you know? Or maybe not 2016, but not like... In fact, the graphics here aren't really too bad, but you know, it makes it look look like a PC Master Race kind of game. Whereas this looks like a PC Master Race fucking ugly piece of shit. It, again, it's not really that ugly, but it's it's kind of ugly. What the fuck's that? I don't even know. Um, but it is, of course, a PC exclusive as well. So, yeah, for those people who are Xbox fanboys and stuff, you guys don't get to play Stalker. Oh, shit, what the fuck? How are you inside that room? See, it's a magician. Fuck you. Okay, let's go and pull that. There we go, we got it. Turn off side mission. Rip Psy Syndicate, guys. We killed Psy Syndicate live on videotape. Oh, my character's having a stroke, apparently. It's okay, it's gonna be fine. Okay, oh. I'm having a flashback. Oh my god, this is a story, guys. I don't want to ruin the story. I'm just going to skip this. Wait, I can't skip it. I'm sorry for talking over the story, but honestly, he gives a fuck about the story when you're watching a one-off video in a spooky laboratory. It's not like it's going to be something any of you guys have really know what the fuck is going on. Okay, so we need to go ahead and take the documents now. Can we do this in one video? I don't know. I just want a weapon with like a scope on or something, because look at the videos of people in this laboratory. Most people, by this point, have actually got decent weapons. Like, I've got scoped uh, weapons, but every single weapon here from the zombies is really mediocre, cause since, you know, the zombies. Like, if you're going to want to find some good weapons, you're going to have to hit up some kind of like bandit trader kind of- Oh shit! 
Okay, if you guys watched my arm stock of video from a few days ago, this guy right here, I don't know how easy it's gonna be to deal with this guy. It is a con that's not a controller, it's a fucking it's not a brewer. I guess it's a controller then. Where did he go? These guys fuck your mind. I remember actually this specific corridor and getting killed while going down it. I mean I do have a shit ton of meds, so there's no way I'm gonna die there he is. Okay. Let's see a line of sight of him. Line of sight, line of sight. He doesn't see a step. Don't fuck my mind. Okay, I killed him. So, yeah, if you guys haven't seen my Armstalker video, though, not, I'd recommend going back and watching it. Although it is a high quality video. But those guys, like, kind of, like, make your screen zoom in and, like, fuck your mind. And this game does have, like, a, a psychic value, I think, somewhere here. What's a psychic value? I don't know, whatever. Either way, there's ways to resist that um, and shit like that, which is why I've got these uh, anti radiation drugs. Not that they give you radiation. But, you know, things will give you, like,. Pluses and minuses, which will help you deal with um, mutants like that guy. Those guys are really fucking strong if dealt with in the wrong manner. But luckily, since I am, you know, walking, talking tank with an RPG and a grenade launcher, and I've got a million medikits, it's not really too much of a problem. So these are the documents right here. We've got a ghost suit, which you can see has got an upgrade on it. So we're going to take that. When I get back from the mission, I'm gonna find the guy at the perimeter. He goes there a lot. So I think we just need to escape now. Let's see, get a lab, get up via the secret tunnel, talk to blah blah. And we need to bring the documents which we just got to the barkeep. So we should just need to get out of this now. I thought it was going to take a bit longer, but... Ow, I keep on walking through those. Ah. Oh. Oh, we're fine. Oh! Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my god, there's so many. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. I don't really give a fuck about Vasily, to be honest. I'm sorry. So, looking at the map in the top left, looks like the secret channel is somewhere near the entrance. Or maybe that is the secret channel, I don't even know. We skipped uh, shooting most of those guys. Oh shit, it was a controller there. So, the controller, I don't know if that is the controller. But yeah, the controllers are psychic as well. I'm pretty sure it is for controller. Um, but yeah, you can press um, the hotkeys for like healing is the two square brackets on your keyboard. That's how I'm healing the entire time without going to my inventory. But normally you can just double click on it and use it like that. But I'm quick using my um, my uh, medikits and my bandages just because I'm a, an, an expert of this video game, guys. So watch out. Stalker is about... Really, this video won't be the best example of all the weaponry and all the wonderful things it wonderful things for isn't stalker i can't speak english but it has been on sale over and over again so i'm sure it's not too expensive as a whole um on in fact let's go and track this i don't know where this is escape i have a secret tunnel. where the fuck even is this well, is this a different way than i am right now can i not get out oh wait no i can't get out the normal way because it's a fucking dead end or is it i don't even know but yeah, not the best example of all that stuff. But my point was, it's been on sale over and over again, so you can pick up this game for really cheap if you are interested. Oh. Especially from G2A, right, guys? Ha ha ha. Okay, we need to work out where the fuck to go then, because we can't get out this way. I don't even know. I wish we had, like, a specific map just for this area, but I don't think that thing exists. Well, I could be wrong. Alright, so I think it's back this way somewhere. There is also other game mechanics which you just won't see in this. Even in the, in the core game, was like, there's weapon jamming and, uh... Your weapons have got different durabilities and shit, so that way, if your weapon's really fucking broke, you can see right, this, this right here is the durability, then it'll jam up over and over again. And actually, when I first started recording this, I just wanted to go down and see, like, is this laboratory spooky? Can't confirm the zombies and shit everywhere. Um, oh shit, this has got a nice uniform. Do you have anything good? No. Slavic docent. It's okay, because he's an enemy and he's dead, that's good. Um, but yeah. Oh, fucking hell, I keep on walking through those things. Weapon jamming and stuff is a thing. Is that a... Yeah, is a fucking... Another... Let's just wear that, you know. I look much cooler. But somehow, through this entire time, this time around, my weapon hasn't jammed a single time, I don't think. So, that's been kind of lucky. But yeah, from what I remember, not very really I remember anything, the little tunnel we're looking for is actually going to be in the last room. So, we are going to go over there. I think the other lab as well has actually got the pseudo giant, which is, as you would have seen in the video, a massive fucking mutant, which is single and ready to mingle with your head and with its mouth. It's pretty cool, to be honest. Definitely one of the coolest mutants in the game, just because they are fucking massive. This didn't drop anything either. Okay, so the secret tunnel entrance, I guess, is over here. So we just need to skip through here. I don't know why so many zombies respawn behind us right now. It's kind of weird. 
Okay, let's go to crouch. Knife these fuckers, see what's inside them. Bandages and ammo. You do end up like getting way too much stuff in this game, and I do always like to drop like one second. I'm gonna drop all of these, it might crash my game. But if it doesn't, then it makes a beautiful pile of bandages. And look, I'm getting 144 FPS, guys. I know it's great, isn't it? We can even throw let's throw a grenade in this pal, you know, see what happens. If it crashes my game, then you know this is this is me saying goodbye. We have officially killed Sai Syndicate and also his oh his computer. Okay, okay. I'm I'm fine, I'm fine. I think I was a bit far from it. Okay, so we're gonna put this right here. There we go. Let's see what happens. Wow, and I'm still getting 140 FPS. Optimized, boys. Optimized. Ah, uh, for my game just crashed. It didn't. It just changed level. Okay. So we're going to get out of this tunnel anyway and wrap up this video. But I think it's pretty much done anyway. Once you leave a tunnel, there's some military fuckers outside. And then you just need to hand in the suit or whatever the fuck we got for one objective. And snore for there. And go ahead and talk to the party. And um, do the other objective. My years of doing YouTube, like, I've learned doing stalker, or not stalker, doing single player series on videos. And just doing video after video on a single player game. People just kind of lose interest, but making one-off videos on single player games and shit like that. You know, people people can keep their interest and, and maybe doing a few videos on stalker. It's a bad thing, so like I said, if you guys would like to see some more of it, I'll try to, um, idea... I, why do I keep on saying idea up? I've said it on a few videos recently. I'll try to think up some uh, good scenarios for YOLO. For what we can do for a one-off video to make it somewhat interesting. But anyway, thanks enough for watching. I don't know who that dude is. Oh, wait, I was gonna say I don't know who that dude is. Oh, he's a fucking zombie. Thanks enough for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and all that stuff. I didn't even hurt. And I'll see you guys next time for some more stalker if you like. Or if not, that's okay. I, I just won't upload anymore. But hopefully this was adequately speaking to you.